What is going on people? We just got one hell of a live stream showing off the Cleric, group gameplay, zombies, constellations, day and night cycle, and a lot more from Intrepid. So let's dive right into it. Starting with the main orc of this stream, the Cleric. Steven plays a female Vec Cleric as him and two other devs run around and explore a cemetery, fight some zombies, along with a bunch of other things. We see this Cleric rock two different weapons, the one-handed mace with a shield, which showed us some faster paced one-handed swains along with active blocking which absorbs incoming damage from the enemies and the staff which is a faster paced two-handed weapon compared to the two-handed sword that we saw a couple months ago and all melee weapons will have active blocking as you can also see steven do with the staff but they won't absorb as much damage as a shield will and ranged weapons such as bows currently aren't able to active block it is undecided if active blocking will use stamina in the final version of the game but it sounds like they are leaning a bit towards yes, along with dodge abilities, which Alpha 2 will dive into heavy feedback on these systems. For the Cleric with abilities, we saw four different ones. We saw Chains of Resentment, which is a cast that locks you in place as you place a reticle in a specific area. And when cast, it staggers any target in that radius and does damage over time to them. If the enemy in that circle is already staggered, then it will stun them, preventing them from being able to move or cast abilities at all. And this is what they're calling Class Synergy, trying to get party members to coordinate their attacks more to work together. As we saw a fighter drop the stagger, and then Steven dropped the Chains of Resentment with the Cleric, creating the stun effect. Next, there was Judgment, which is your basic single target heal ability, which also has a charge feature to do greater heals. If targeting an enemy, this ability will also do damage to them. Then there is Cleansing Wave, which shoots a line to a target to heal them. This has the ability to bounce to additional targets due to something called Conviction, which we'll talk about in a moment. The fourth ability is called Communal Restoration, which Steven never actually said what it does and i couldn't really tell but it was some sort of party buff as of now your buffs currently show under the player ui which i hope moves as they said later on that party buffs will cap out somewhere around 20 something buffs on a player at one time and having that show there would be a bit much obviously these four abilities aren't the only ones that a cleric will have at their disposal and as we get further into development we should be seeing a lot more of these we also learned about a cleric specific class resource called convictions as you use use your abilities, some of them can generate these convictions. These then amplify specific abilities that your cleric has, such as your heals for example, allowing Cleansing Wave to bounce a second or third line to another player turning the single target heal into a multi-target ability. Overall, the cleric seems to be sticking with a firm take on support, as all four abilities were defensive, used to assist or heal your party in some way, although this didn't stop Steven from jumping in and showing off that mace and staff. UI-wise, not much is changed since the last couple of videos with the exception of now we get to see the party ui showing us the cleric ranger and fighter icons which again will be completely customizable on where you can place them and the size and all of that map wise we saw a new biome within the riverlands this was much more of a mountain-esque foresty region which i assume was this area somewhere over here on the map as steven said it was near the alpine forest region the area looks fantastic terrain wise and a bit more tricky to navigate compared to the open area of the Riverlands. With plenty of trees to chop down, it is about to get a whole lot nicer as Steven did confirm they are working to update to Unreal Engine 5.1, which is said to be done around January. This region is filled with graveyards and zombies and golems, which are said to be created by what went down in the ruins of Carfin. There are a few different types of zombies that we saw in these zones also, some spit toxic vomit on the ground, which does large amount of damage, while others known as the Zombie Scholar seem to shoot magic at you from a distance. We also saw a graveyard golem, which although looked menacing, was pretty easy for them to take down, but it does have a player stun ability. We also see the progression of day and night cycle as Steven speeds up time to showcase what it will look like in the game over the course of a couple hours, as the sun slowly sets and reveals the Varen moons in the sky, one of which is completely destroyed for some reason. Nighttime also completely changes up the ambience of the game as the sounds and the way the environment feel are completely different than daytime. Day and night will be tied into server time, but the exact hours will be fine-tuned in Alpha 2. 
in these night skies, depending on the zone you are in, you will be able to seek out constellations in the sky. These constellations will have a purpose such as empowering abilities and assisting with unlocking node specific items. But it seems as though each constellation will only be visible from specific spots on the map, and depending on the terrain, you may not be able to see them in the sky at all. We did get to see a sandal constellation and one of the Dawnbreaker, which is also a mount in the game. The last cool feature we saw was that sitting out of combat allows you to regain health and mana faster, which is a more old school feature in MMOs, but I do enjoy it. Overall, I am very impressed with what we saw in the Cleric Showcase, and I'm still holding out for a spot testing announcement in December. What are your guys' thoughts on the Cleric Showcase? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can create an account, jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.